What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Tito checking in. Today we're back with the legs push pull routine overview. I did my legs one about two days ago, so in case you guys happen to miss it, click your top left hand corner and be sure to watch that one. But today, all about my push days. On my channel, I also have a playlist in which I have pretty much 95% of my workouts on there that are in this routine, so be sure to check that out if you guys happen to be interested. But today, like I said, all about push. So briefly, in case you guys happen to miss that last video though, this is kind of how my routine is laid out. Legs push pull off, legs push pull off. I have four different routines for each and every individual legs push pull. So I do legs, hypertrophy A, push hypertrophy A, pull A, off, then I go over to strength, A, 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 off, and then I do B's, B's down here, then I do off, okay? And that's kind of a whole um, cycle of that. So um, the difference between these two is right here, Higher reps, kind of more of how a bodybuilder would train, okay? And right here, strength, going more for that narrow stimulation, how a power lifter would train, working on getting stronger, working on lower reps right here. So that's the difference between these two. So to get into my push routines, though, I do hypertrophy A, bench press, four sets of six to eight. If you do not like bench press, you could substitute a decline bench press for that. And then OHP, I would recommend you do another chest workout right after your first one if your chest is lagging. Um, right next to your shoulders, but my chest and my shoulders are pretty even, so I work out chest, then shoulders, and then I go to incline dumbbell press three sets of six to eight reps. Um, also, always have an upper chest movement in your routine, so three sets right there. And then I do cable flies, three sets, 10 to 12 reps, a little bit higher reps right there, because like I said, it's a hypertrophy day. Um, I do a total of, I believe it's 10 sets for chest. I believe that's just about good. Maybe a little bit on the higher end, but I think that's about good right there. Um, lateral raises, three sets, eight to 12 reps. I have eight to 12 reps because if you think about it, a lateral raise, it's kind of harder to always up the weight. So you gotta have a higher rep, you know, rep range right there. So uh, I do three sets, eight to 12 reps. So let's say I do 15 pounds, right? I would do 15 pounds until I can get all the way up to 12 reps for all three sets. Then I go up to 20. 20 pounds and then I do the same thing. That's called double progression right there. So that's kind of the progression scheme that I use. Uh, lateral raise, three sets, eight to 12 reps, like I said again for the third time. Rope extension, four sets, eight to 12 reps. I would also recommend that you guys always have a triceps exercise in which you pull over your head to emphasize more on the long head of your triceps, okay? Rope pull down, three sets, eight to 12 reps, working more on that lateral head. And then, B workout, incline bar, pretty much the same thing, just vice versa. See right here, I started out with bench press flats. For here, I started out with bar for incline, and then I do flat dumbbell. Shoulder press, cable flies, uh, lateral raises, cable laterals this time. I, I always like to switch up my dumbbell laterals and then cable laterals between the two workouts. So pretty much the only difference between these two workouts is different, you know, different individual workouts within the workout itself. So. See right here how I have incline dumbbell, right here I have incline barbell, right here I have bench press, right here I have flat dumbbell, right here I have OHP, right here I have shoulder press. So you guys see the difference right there. The main, you know, the main small ones like the triceps one, they kind of stay the same for the most part, except right here I have close grip bench as opposed to um, rope overhead extension. So um, I'll just run through this quick in case you guys are interested though. Incline barbell, four, by, four sets of six to eight. Flat dumbbell, three, six, six to eight. Man, I can't talk right now. Shoulder press, cable fly, cable laterals, rope push down, and close grip bench. And I also work abs on my push hypertrophy days. So um, you guys can see this for yourself. I don't have to read it all off, but abs, hypertrophy days for push. And then strength, bench press, five sets of three to five reps. OHP, five sets of three to five reps. Incline barbell, I do five sets of four to six. Um, overhead extensions with the rope again, that's the only tricep exercise I have on that day. And lateral raise, just another accessory right there to get more shoulder, shoulder stimulation. Two sets, two to three sets actually, of eight to 12 reps. So right there, you guys can see that it's kind of lower volume in terms of rep ranges, but I'm, I'm using a lot heavier weight on this day as opposed to this day. So I rest a lot longer on this day. And then my B workout is essentially the same thing, bench press and OHP being the two main movers. I pretty much emphasize on these two movements, bench press and OHP. I try to get it up every workout as best I can and the other ones, if they go up, great. If they don't go up, then maybe next time, right? So incline dumbbell for this day, skull crushers and lateral raises. So the only difference between these two days for my strength days is two movements. I do incline dumbbell as opposed to incline barbell 
and the skull crushers as opposed to overhead extensions. So this is just a brief overview of my push workout, guys. I have four different workouts, and I just showed you guys all of them. So if you guys have any further questions, be sure to leave a comment below, and I'll answer that for you guys. So stay tuned for my poll overview coming up next. So be sure to like the video, subscribe, join the Facebook fan page, follow me on Instagram, all links of which in the description box below. Adios, guys. Have a good day. Hey Tito, great put here, man. Just falling out. Say hey, what's up, man? Here you doing good shit, man. Catch you next time, bro.